Hello powerful and beautiful souls, welcome back to another video. At some point in your life, you will feel like the things you are doing are not working. You might have been working so hard on them, putting much energy into your goals, but you still don't receive any positive change. It could be in your career, business, finances or relationship. As a star seed, deep down within you, there's a person you envision yourselves being. Buried under that person is bad habits, poor decisions, negative influences, and limiting beliefs based on past experiences. On top of that, people are not seeing your struggles. They handle you as if you don't deserve the best life has to offer. This is not them doing it, but the negative spirit in them. Those negative spirits know you came here for something greater and you deserve the best, because you are special. And that is why they use friends and families to treat the chosen ones wrongly. And at this point now, God is saying no more to the wicked, and he is about to elevate you into a whole new level. A new level of prosperity and abundance. You are about to be placed in a higher positions in life, where those that never valued you will start seeing how special you are. Because you have struggled a lot in life. You are a star seed, indigo, beautiful lovely old soul, who do not fit into the modern evil way of doing things. Beautiful souls, you are chosen for something better, and that is why the world treat you so badly. But are you ready to move to this new level? Are you ready to leave that life of prosperity and abundance you have ever wished for? Are you ready to tell the universe, yes, I am worthy of greater level in my life? If you are ready, then start doing your inner works. Meditate, do a lot of breathing practices and start aligning your chakras, because something very surprising is about to happen in your life. Your ancestors got your back, and you have never been alone beautiful soul. Let people say whatever they want to say about you. Let them, because life is about to reward you more profoundly. Accept this now, claim it, speak great things into the universe and they will be giving to you. Ask and it shall be given. So affirm it morning, afternoon, and night. Don't lose hope because your time of prosperity is near. Most times when we go through hard times for a long period, then we start to lose hope, we start to ask, God why me? Why are these happening in my life? Why am I the only one doing the hardest wherever I go? Don't lose hope beautiful soul, you are just special. You can handle it better that is why the universe always give you the hardest. But trust the universal timing, and you will be rewarded with the best. As that person who sees different, who loves different and who does the hardest, the real you slip further and further away, you might look for ways to reconnect with that dream. To bring that person to the surface. Often, we are not sure how to. But the anxiety of losing that your inner self changes our mindset. When that mindset shifts, your behavior changes. It's subtle at first, but then it gets obvious to you and others around you. Despite that, take action now. That is the difference between your current condition and your next level. Sometimes we're afraid to take actions and make that move because of what we think what others will say. So we stay consistent because that's what your parents know, or your wife or husband knows or your friends know. I've come to learn that in the end, no one cares, not even your family. Being alive is the demarcation point. Do you feel like you are on the edge of breaking? Do you feel you can no longer handle the situations you are going through? It is a clear sign you are about to enter into a whole new level. Stay focused, hold on to your struggles and don't give up. Things are about to change for you in a large scale. When God starts preparing to move you forward and closer towards fulfilling your purpose in this dimension of existence, the enemies will do all they can in order to discourage you. To make you worry and feel as if you are not worthy of a luxury life. The enemies will try to paralyze you from taking action through fear. To distract you. To create a diversion in order to try and get you off track. To hinder you in order to weaken your faith in yourself and God. However, when this happens, do not start getting frustrated or give up because when the enemy brings trouble your way. They are doing it because you are special and they don't want you to win. Due to this fact, you have to prove them wrong by not giving up on the dream you want to accomplish. The truth of the matter is, when God is getting ready to elevate you, to move you forward towards your destiny, he will open doors for you that no one can shut, not even the enemies can destroy your purpose in life. However, don't be surprised when you start facing spiritual warfare on another level. This is because the enemies knows the assignment God has on your life, 
The vision of God you are carrying inside and he also knows what God is about to do concerning your destiny. God will place before you an open door that no one can destroy. God has a special place in his heart for the weak, the weary, the downtrodden, and the broken. There is a special place for the star seeds, the chosen ones who are carrying burdens and loads of hardship. Come to me all who labor and are heavy laden, he says, and, bring in the poor and crippled and blind and lame. His special blessing is upon those who are poor, who are meek and mournful, who are reviled and persecuted. The faith that honors him is the faith of a child, and his power is made perfect in weakness more than in strength. He deliberately chooses what is foolish in the world to shame the wise and what is weak in the world to shame the strong. Where we tend to dispose of what has been broken, God treasures it. Where the human instinct is toward those who are confident, assertive, and self-sufficient, the divine eye is drawn to those who are humble, who are contrite in spirit, and who tremble at God's word. Where the world looks to those who are whole and strong, God looks to those who are weak and broken, for his specialty is bringing much from little, beauty from ashes, strength from weakness. God does much with broken things. And your own case is not going to be different. Your problem will be transformed to greatness. If you feel your life has been broken beyond repair, believe that God created your life and will always bring huge transformations that will change your life forever. You don't wait till your life changes. You have to tell the universe that you are worthy of receiving this breakthrough that is coming towards you, by taking the necessary actions you have to take to get where you want to get. The universe is God, God is creation, and you are the creation. Therefore you are God as well. Speak things into existence. First and foremost, I will suggest you start doing your inner healing, because you can't carry your broken self into that new level of abundance. Heal from your past traumas, and cleanse your body and mind. You cannot do this by sticking with the old methods, the old ways of doing things. Try something new. Leave toxic people behind and your life will start blossoming like never before. Heal from toxic people, and it will open doors to more helpful people to enter into your life. Or do you want to carry toxic people, your haters into your new level? Why not give chance for new people to come in, that is how you let the new levels to enter into your life as well. So star seeds, the ball is on your court. It is either you hold on to the old ways and people, or you let go of them and allow the universe to elevate you into a new phase of peace, love, prosperity, and abundance. I hope this video was really helpful to you. If you are ready to move into that whole new level, make sure to comment that below, and subscribe for more videos like this. See you in my next video. Peace, love and life.